Hey, how's it going, guys? So today I want to talk to you guys about a new、uh, feature that just came out onto Old School about a few days ago. It's called the Shift Click Drop, and if you don't know what it is, it's basically you are now able to hold the button Shift, and by holding the button,、uh, pretty much any item that has a drop option, you will be able to just left click it to drop. So I'm holding my Shift right now, and I'll show you. Right now, see, instead of drinking my potion, it actually drops it. So generally speaking, how shift drops gonna be very useful is for scenarios where you want to drop a lot of items very quickly. So one of the biggest things that people will be using the shift drop feature for is for skilling, hands down the number one thing. Now, for those of you guys that are you know advanced skillers that know how to like power train, know how to take manipulate, etc., you know exactly what I'm talking about. So people can actually get XP a lot faster if they use stuff like Shift Drop or something like Mouse Key. So Shift Drop is like your official RuneScape、uh, tool that you can use to power skill. Okay, basically instead of banking your resources that you gather, for example, you know cutting logs, you drop them with stuff like Mouse Keys, where you can just like rapid drop. So I am personally going to be testing the Shift Drop feature. At、uh, three skills that I mentioned, the mining aspect and the woodcutting aspect, and then just give you guys an idea of just how good the shift drop feature can be. I'm gonna be trying out teaks for 30 minutes. I have 96 woodcutting, just using a dragon axe, no inferno, and I won't be tick manipulating. I'm just going to be using the shift drop feature. 30 minutes should be a good sample size. We'll probably be able to extrapolate, you know, and get an idea of what the XP is like every hour. All right, so time is up. Thirty minutes is up, and I'm getting around seventy-seven k experience an hour. So what I'm doing is very moderate effort,、uh, semi AFK. The only real intensity is when I start dropping the log. So this is my first time using the shift click. So I believe if you get the rhythm now, after you know using it for a while, you can definitely get better XP rates with the same setup that I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna be moving on to fishing. So a popular high XP rate activity for fishing is barbarian fishing. Most people end up just moving here as soon as they get the level two, which is I believe at forty、uh, eight. Ideally, you want to be seventy, but I am ninety three fishing. All right, so thirty minutes of fishing at barbarian assault. It's done. So here we go. I'm getting around fifty six k fishing experience. So FK fishing here with shift drop is such a big experience jump from monkfish. So the last thing I want to try out with the shift drop is par mining. I'm not gonna be doing granite because I'm pretty sure I will be getting、uh, more XP at iron at my level. Once you hit 85 plus, it's pretty well known that 85 plus like granite is better. So oh here we go. 30 minutes has passed. And it was so consistent. I literally, you know, just got 50k right off the bat and just stay there nonstop. So I didn't wear my motherlo outfit, but if I did, maybe like 51k or something. There's actually like a good second or two where the rocks don't spawn, so you can actually just drop them、uh, in that time, so you don't really waste any time at all. But yeah, 50k an hour. So keep in mind, I did not take manipulate at all. So if you were to include stuff like that, you would definitely see XP rates way higher than this. But I just wanted to make this video just because I was curious to see, you know, how much better or how much worse ship drop could be versus external tools that people are normally using, such as the mouse keys. So from what I can see, the ship drop just seems like an easier version of mouse keys. You don't have to set it up, and、uh, it's really easy to get used to. Now I'm pretty sure mouse keys can be probably slightly more efficient because. Instead of actually, you know, using your hand to guide and drop stuff, you just use like buttons. And I'm pretty sure buttons have less, you know, variability error. But I'm pretty sure once you get the hang of the rhythm of dropping with your mouse, it will probably be about the same. So it's not too much different, I guess. At the end of the day, the shift drop update didn't improve how fast we can train our skills, but it's another option for you know people to power train the skills definitely to take advantage of. If you weren't a big fan of mouse keys. I guess you can use the shift drop because it feels a bit more official and it's definitely a bit easier set up. And that's all I wanted to talk about for this video, guys. Hope you guys found the topic of shift drop to be、uh, interesting because it certainly is something that has really never been in the game. 
so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys had your doubts but you know after seeing this test and examining it and whatnot hope you guys have a full idea of what ship drop is and isn't I suppose anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later with another video in a few days take care guys